to uh, three things I just want to quickly uh, run through this evening. Right, the first point, um, have you ever been lucky enough to receive six months rent up front from a tenant? Um, it happens with, with us occasionally, one or two are nodding your heads. Okay, we'll just uh, grab hold of this. Uh, the critical question of whether rent paid in advance is a tenant's deposit is to be decided by the Court of Appeal on the 5th and 6th of March. In Johnson versus Old, six months' rent in advance had been paid by the tenant along with a separate sum which was taken as the deposit and that was duly protected. When the landlord sought possession of the property, the tenant argued that only part of the deposit had been registered and the rent taken in advance, as in the six months, had constituted a deposit which had not been protected and that the Section 21 notice was therefore invalid. So, more on that next month. Um, what I really wanted to talk to you about this evening um, is the Green Deal. Now, this is something you really do need to be aware of. Um, it's a bit of a hodgepodge and a potential hot potato. And believe it or not, there's going to be a two and a half million pound marketing push on it uh, in the next week, 10 days. So what's the Green Deal all about? It's basically um, an opportunity to borrow money to take out a loan to make your property more energy efficient. But it is massively complicated and complex. I'm just going to read out a few salient points. Um, and if you want to come and talk to me afterwards, please do. Um, so, lenders, as well as current and prospective tenants and purchasers, will have to be told about any Green Deal loan. Tenants can also ask for a de Green Deal loan, but they must get the consent of their landlords. This is the bit to watch out for. But in doing so, they will commit any future tenants to repaying the finance. Uh, interest rates are going to fluctuate or vary between 7.67% and 9.34, dependent on the length of the loan. Uh, there'll be an admin charge and a, and a setup charge. Um, contrary to popular belief, the loans will not appear as a charge against the property. Uh, these arrangements could span 25 years, uh, and future purchasers and tenants will find themselves having to repay the loan through their electricity bills when they become, and this is the crucial bit, the bill payer for the time being. So the bill payer for the time being is going to be responsible for repaying the loan. Um, the Energy Act 2011 places obligations on those selling and letting the, the Green Deal improved properties, including the duty to disclose key terms of the Green Deal plan. Uh, the Act also requires the acknowledgement of the buyer or the tenant that they will be bound by the Green Deal plan. Uh, there's talk of the Green Deal um, being evident on the EPC, but I've never actually come across anybody that's even looked at one of those. Uh, so basically, um, it's saying that in the rental sector, future tenants will have to acknowledge and agree, so this is your tenants will have to acknowledge and agree to accept liability for the Green Deal plan. Um, well, my view on that is good luck with that, basically, but we'll wait and see. Uh, if the original bill payer fails to give the proper disclosure, then they may have to repay the whole of the original loan plus interest. Um, so that's something for you to go to bed with tonight. Uh, and then to finish um, on a positive, uh, a recent report, student property continues to outperform all sectors of the UK property market. So good for you if you're involved with students. Thank you very much. <laughs>